In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the rainbow granny stripes hat. For this particular pattern it's using Karen Simply Soft in six different colours. I'm going to leave a link in the description box underneath this video where you can find all of the information that you need including the exact colours which you will need so make sure that you click that link and go across and check it out. Within that link you will also find the free pattern download that you will need for this particular pattern. I'm going to walk you through this pattern step by step so this is absolutely perfect if you are still unsure of how to read patterns and it will really help you build your pattern reading skills. You are going to need two crochet hooks, a 4mm and a 5mm crochet hook. That is a hook size G and a hook size H. You will need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. So as I said, I'm going to be walking you through this pattern step by step. If you don't want to know this information, if you are happy with your pattern reading skills, then go ahead and look at this timestamp, which I'm going to leave on the screen now, and you can get stuck straight into the tutorial. If you need a little bit of help in how to read patterns, I would highly recommend you go across to that link that I've provided and download this free pattern. This is an absolutely free download and print this off so that you can follow me through um, each step as we go along. Okay, so you may notice here that I have gone through and highlighted a few different sections here. That is because this pattern is written in US terms and I work in UK terms. So all I've done is simply gone through where it says double crochet, I've changed that for the UK term which is treble crochet and highlighted it in the colour which is going to represent that on the actual pattern itself. I've done that for double crochet which is treble crochet in the UK. I've done it for double crochet front post which is treble crochet front post in the UK. I've done it for half double crochet which is actually half treble crochet in the UK and single crochet which is a double crochet in the UK. I just find this makes it a lot easier and helps stop making any mistakes as you go through so I've done that before we've even started. You can also see that I've added some of the colours on the side here. This is just really helpful for me. It might not be helpful for other people but because I'm quite visual I find this really really helps. So throughout the pattern it will tell you to change colours and I have just taken a strand of each of the yarn and labelled it which is which, so A, B, C, D, E and F. So these are all the colours that we're going to be using throughout. You'll also notice here that it has um, two to four information and six to eight information. So this is two different sizes of the hat so that you can adapt it to what you like. And this is also colour coded as well. So I'll talk through that in just a moment. When you are looking at a pattern, you want to look at all the information. So it's telling you how many balls of each of the yarn is needed. And then also here it tells you which uh, size hooks that you need. So as we've said, you need a four meter, millimeter and a five millimeter. But if you find that your gauge is out, then you can change that as you need to. And the gauge information is just in the top here. So down at the bottom, you have all of your abbreviations. So throughout the pattern, your, uh, for example, you can see it says BEG for beginning, CH for chains, cluster, and then it gives you information of what a cluster stitch is. So you can refer back to this at any point when you're working through a pattern if you're unsure what the abbreviations are. So these are the instructions here, so just additional information for the pattern and it says the instructions are written for the smaller size. If changes are needed for larger sizes, the instructions will be written in the parenthesis. Numbers for each size are shown in the same colour throughout the pattern. When only one number is given in black, it applies to both sizes. So the black text is for both sizes, and then the red text is for the two to four, and the orange text is for six to eight. So the only um, place this applies really is for the fifth round, and then also a little bit when it comes to doing the, the cuff of the hat. So we're going to make a start and we're going to start at the beginning of the crown. So we're going to start at the crown of the hat and then work our way down. So it tells us to start with A 
um, and the larger hook size and we're going to chain four, joining a ring with a slip stitch to the first chain. So for these first few rounds I'm going to pop this onto the screen so that you can see it as we're working our way through. But you want to go ahead and grab your colour A which is the lemonade. Okay I would suggest with the Karen that you take your yarn band off and you work from the centre of the ball. So just pull it out the center like this and this yarn works really well doing it in this way. So go ahead and pull out some of your yarn and then you want to grab your crochet hook and we'll get started. So you want to begin by creating your slip knots and you can do this whichever way you prefer. If you need an extra helping hand with this I have just done a beginner series, I will leave that in the description box so you can go and check that out. But we're going to use our 5mm hook and we're going to start off by chaining 4. So 1, 2, 3 and four. Now it says to join in ring with slip stitch to the first chain so that just means slip stitch into the fourth chain from the hook which is this very first chain just here. Go ahead insert the hook, yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook and you have your very centre circle and this is what we're going to um, work into now. So the first round it says to chain three as I read this out, I'm going to read this in UK terms, but also remember to look at your pattern so that you can see the difference in the terms. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then the pattern indicates that this counts as your first treble crochet, so that's a US double crochet. We're now going to do two treble crochets into the ring, so yarn over, insert into the very centre circle, Yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. So that's one, we'll do that again. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two, two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Now it has the parentheses, so it says chain two, three treble crochets in a ring, and then it says three times. So what that means is we are basically going to repeat that whole sequence three times. So chain two, one, two, and then three treble crochets. One, two, and three. So that's our first sequence. Chain two again, one, two, and then three treble crochets. One, two, and three. So that's the second time we've done it. And then we'll do our third time, chain two, and then three treble crochets. One, two, and three. It's now telling us to chain two and join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three. So this is our chain three here and we're going to go into the top of this chain three so insert your hook into the top of there, slip stitch, And then it says break A, which simply means tie off. So the way I tie off is I um, yarn over and pull through, grab my scissors, snip off the yarn, and then pull that out. So for round two, it's telling us to join B. So if I refer to my pattern, my B colour is this green, which is called chartreuse. So I'm going to go ahead, grab the chartreuse and prepare that for the next round. Okay, so for round two, it says to join colour B with a slip stitch. So what you want to do is create a slip knot and insert your hook. And it says to insert with a slip stitch into any chain two space. So I'm going to go into this first chain two space just here. So you have your slip knot on the hook, you want to insert your hook grab the yarn and then pull through the um, loop on the hook. 
and that is joining with a slip stitch. I'm going to pull this round because we're going to be working our way round and we want to start um, as far over as possible. It tells us to chain three, one, two, three, and then it has some instructions in the parentheses. So this is going to class as the beginning cluster because the beginning cluster is going to be different to the other clusters because we've had to chain three to get up to the right height. So it's telling us to yarn over and pull up a loop. So you pull up like this, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. And that is our beginning cluster. We're now going to chain one, and then it says cluster into the same space as the last slip stitch. So basically into this chain two space. So I'm going to go ahead and look at the information which um, is just here for the cluster stitch because this tells us how to do our full cluster. And please feel free to refer to that back to that at any point. So for our full cluster, you want to yarn over and pull up a loop. So it's important that you do pull up your loop just here. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert. Yarn over, pull through, pull up that loop. Yarn over, pull through two. And then once more, yarn over, insert. Yarn over, pull up a loop. And then yarn over and pull through all of those loops on the hook. And that is a cluster stitch. So the next section of the pattern can get a little bit confusing. It has the asterisk and then it says chain one, skip the next treble crochet, cluster into the next treble crochet. So remember I'm saying treble crochet but the pattern will say double crochet because that is UK terms. So let's just see what this means. It's telling us to chain one, skip the next treble and cluster into the next treble. So it's this centre one here. So we'll do our cluster yarn over, insert, and then pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through all of those loops on the hook. Tells us to chain one and skip the next treble crochet, which is this one here. And then it has the parentheses again, which is simply just grouping these stitches together. And it's telling us to do it into the chain two space, which is just here. So we're going to do a cluster. pulling through all of those loops on the hook, chain one and a cluster all into that chain two space. Okay, so we've completed that's those stitches and now it says repeat from the asterisk. So, Basically what that means is we're going to go back to the asterisk, the original one where it was chain one, skip a treble, do the cluster, skip a treble, and we're going to do that two more times so that we go all the way around here. So we're going to chain one, skip a treble, and do a cluster into that middle treble. We're going to chain one, skip a treble, and then do our corner section. So cluster, please feel free to rewind the video at any point should you need to recap a cluster stitch. Chain one, and then a cluster. pull through all of the stitches. We're going to repeat that again, chain one, skip a treble, do a cluster into that central treble. Chain 
chain one and then we're going to do our stitches into this corner so a cluster chain one and a cluster So now that we have done that twice more, it's going to give us the information that we need to get back to the start. So it's going to be the same, but just not the full um, sequence. So we're going to chain one, skip a treble, and then do a cluster stitch into the center treble. And then we're going to chain one, and slip stitch into the top of this beginning cluster so into the chain three which we did right at the beginning beginning of the round you want to insert your hook and slip stitch and then it's telling us to break um, B so as I say the way that I do this is chain one snip off the yarn and pull out the work so we're now going to take colour 3 and we are going to join with a slip stitch as before. So I've done my slip knot on my crochet hook and what it says in this round is join C with a slip stitch to the first chain 1 space from the last round. So this is where I um, broke off my yarn. And then the first chain one space is just here. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my hook and do a slip stitch. We now want to do one of those beginning cluster stitches again, which is chain three, one, two, three. Yarn over, insert into the chain one space, yarn over, pull through, pull up the loop, and then yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all of those loops on the hook. And that is our beginning cluster. It's grouped a couple of these stitches together. So we want to chain one and then do a cluster into that very same space that we've just work, been working into. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all the loops on the hook. So the next instructions can again be a little confusing. We have an asterisk which is marking the start of some instructions and then it has the parentheses which is um, grouping the stitches together. So what we're going to do is start off by doing that group of stitches. So we're going to chain one and cluster into the next space, to the next chain one space. So we'll do a cluster, yarn over, insert and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop and yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop and yarn over, pull through all of the loops on the hook. It's then telling us to do that twice. So you want to chain one and cluster into the next space. So go ahead and do your cluster as you have been doing. So we've now just done those instructions twice. Chain one, and then we have a group of instructions again. So we're going to cluster. Chain one and cluster all into the same space.
Then it's saying into the next chain one space, repeat from the asterisk. So you go right back to the beginning of what we have just been doing. So a few lines up, we're going to chain one and we're going to cluster. And we're going to chain one and cluster into the next chain one space. So we have now done that twice as was indicated. It's now telling us to chain one and then do our cluster, chain one and cluster into the next space. So that's our first cluster, chain one, and then another cluster into that same space. So we've just repeated that once, and then we want to do it again. So we're going to chain one, cluster into the next chain one space. chain one and cluster into the next chain one space. And then we're going to chain one and cluster, chain one and cluster into the next space. So cluster, chain one and cluster all into that same space. So we've done that twice. It says then from the asterisk to the double asterisk once. So basically the, what that means is we don't have to do that full sequence all together because we don't have enough space to do that. So we're going to go back to the asterisk which is chain one and uh, cluster into the next chain one space. And then chain one and cluster into the next chain one space. And then join it with a slip stitch to the top of the beginning cluster. So this is the beginning cluster. We're going to go into the top of those stitches and join with a slip stitch. So we're going to break off this yarn. So yarn over, pull through, snip off the yarn. And we're ready to move on to round four. So for round four, we're using color D, which is this color here. I'm going to go ahead and prepare that now. So I've attached my new color onto my hook with a slip knot and what it's telling us to do is to slip stitch into the first chain one space of the last round. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find that chain one space. This is where we fastened off and this is the first chain one space. It's important that you are starting into the same one because if you see here, this is where we did um, double stitches into this section and then this is where we did double stitches into the last round. So go into there and do your slip stitch and we're going to start off with a beginning cluster. So chain three and then yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop and then yarn over, pull through all of those loops on the hook. We want to chain one and then do our cluster into that same space.
Okay, so this round is going to consist of a series of repeats and what we want to do to begin this repeat is chain one, cluster into the next chain one space, and then chain one, and then we have that group of stitches again where we're going to cluster chain one and cluster into that same space. And then it's telling us to repeat that all over again six times. So I'll show you the repeats again once more. So we're going to chain one, cluster into the next chain one space. chain one and then do a group of stitches. So cluster, chain one and cluster. So you're going to repeat that again five more times. So chain one, cluster, chain one, cluster, chain one, cluster. So go ahead, pause the video, work your way around your work until you've done that six times in total. Remember we've done one already. I will leave the instructions on the screen. Rewind if you need to and meet me back once you're ready. So this is what my hat is looking like and then I have this last section here. So obviously we are not going to repeat another sequence because there is only one space left. So it's telling us to repeat that very first section of the sequence. So chain one, cluster into the next chain one space of your work. and then chain one and then slip stitch into the chain three or the beginning cluster of the round. So go ahead and snip off your yarn. So by the end of round four we should have 24 clusters in total. So when you're counting your clusters obviously there is two clusters here so I have 24 so I am on the right track. If you don't have 24 then you may want to go back and see where you may have made a mistake. So for the next section this will depend on what size you're doing. I am doing the size two to four, so I'm going to follow this set of instructions. If you're following size six to eight, you would follow this set of instructions. So I'm going to use color E, and the same would be for this size as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get that prepared. Okay, so for round five, I've attached my yarn using a slip knot, and it says here to slip stitch into the first chain one space from the last round. So this is where we tied off. You're going to go ahead and insert your hook into that first chain one space and slip stitch. So chain three, so that we can do our beginning cluster. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all the loops on the hook. So now we're going to start a repeat again. We're going to chain one and cluster into the next chain one space. So cluster stitch. And then this is pretty much going to be the whole of the round. So chain one into the next chain one space and cluster stitch. So 
So go ahead, pause the video and do that all the way round. Chain one, cluster, chain one, cluster, chain one, cluster. If you are doing the next size, I'm going to go back to this first beginning cluster and just demonstrate to you what your repeat is going to be, just so that you are really um, sure on what you're doing. But if you're doing the size two to four, skip that section and I'll indicate on the screen where round six is going to start for you. Okay, so round five for the six to eight size, you're going to do your beginning cluster, chain one, and then do a cluster into that same space. And then this is where your repeat is going to start. You're going to chain one and cluster into the next chain one space. And then you're going to chain one and cluster into the next chain one space. And you're going to do this five times. So you're going to have five single clusters on their own. So that's one, two, three. four and five and that should bring you across to where you have this double set of cl clusters again so chain one and you're going to repeat that all over again so you're going to do a cluster a chain one and a cluster all into the same space. You're going to chain one and then do five single clusters and you're going to repeat that all the way around until you get to your last section. So go ahead, pause the video and meet me back for round six. Okay, so I have now done all of my stitches all the way round and I'm left with this last space. So I'm going to go ahead and do my cluster into that space. I'm going to chain one and slip stitch into the chain three from the beginning cluster. Yarn over and snip off my yarn. And then go ahead and pull that out. And then if I take a look at the pattern, we are now on the sixth round. So it says join colour F with a slip stitch to the first chain one space of the last round. So colour F is this red colour. I'm going to go ahead and prepare that and get started with round six. I've prepared colour F and I'm ready to start round six. So it says join with a slip stitch to the first chain space of the last round, which is just here. So this is our last stitch from the last round. This is the first uh, chain one space. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to start off with a beginning cluster. So chain three, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all of the loops on the hook. So this round is super simple. You're going to chain one and cluster into the next chain one space. And chain one and cluster into the next chain one space. So it's literally just doing a single cluster into each of the uh, spaces all the way around. So go ahead, pause the video, work until you get to this last uh, chain space just here and meet me back once you are ready. Okay, so I'm just doing my last cluster 
into the last chain space and I'm going to chain one and slip stitch into the top of the beginning cluster and then I'm going to tie off my yarn. Okay, so if I just grab the pattern, it's telling you now that row 7 to 12 is a repeat of round 6. So you want to repeat round 6 over and over in A, B, C, D, E and F. So go ahead and repeat row 6 with A, B, C, D, E and F and meet me back when you're at the end of your round 12 and I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, so I have now completed all 12 of those rounds and this is what my hat is looking like. Um, this is my last stitch just here. So this is where we're up to and now we need to join colour D with a slip stitch to the top of the beginning cluster. So colour D is this blue. If we also just look here, this is the cuff that we're doing now. It also says to change to a smaller hook. So I'm going to grab my 4mm hook. Okay, so I've done my slip knot on my 4mm hook and we want to start off by doing that. Slip stitch into the top of the beginning cluster. So this is the beginning cluster, we've got the knot here, this is the beginning cluster and you want to go into the top of that stitch like so. So we're going to slip stitch to begin with. So for the first round of the cuff we're going to chain one and it says one double crochet into the same space as the last slip stitch. So the same space as what we've just done. Remember, um, the pattern will be in US terms, so it will say single crochet. So we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through both of those loops on the hook. It now has a pattern repeat, so we're going to double crochet into the next chain one space, double crochet into the next cluster. It's telling us to do that twice. So double crochet into the next chain one space and then double crochet into the top of the next cluster. It's now telling us to do two double crochets into the next chain one space. One and two. And one double crochet into the next cluster. So it's now telling us to repeat that five times um, for the size that I'm doing. If you're doing the largest size, you will re repeat that seven times. So I'll just show you that sequence again. You're going to double crochet into the chain one space, double crochet into the cluster, double crochet into the chain one, double crochet into the cluster, two double crochets into the chain one and a double crochet into the cluster. So that's the first of my five um, stitch repeats. If you want to pause the video, repeat that four more times or six more times if you're doing the larger version and then meet me back once you are ready. Okay, so I've just done my repeat. So now what we're going to do is do another short repeat. I'm going to do a double crochet into the chain space and a double crochet into the cluster twice. If you're doing the larger version, you would do it three times. So into the chain space, into the cluster, into the chain space, and into the cluster. You then have one chain space left, you're going to do one double crochet into there unless you're doing the larger version and you would do two into there. Okay so at the end of the first round of the cuff it doesn't actually say whether we should slip stitch into the first stitch but I am going to um, just because I can't imagine it looking very neat if we don't. So I'm going to slip stitch and then I'm going to chain two. So your chain two is going to class as your half 
treble crochet, which is half double crochet in the US. We're then going to do a front post treble crochet, which is um, written as double crochet front post in the pattern. So the way that you're going to do this is you're going to yarn over. This is the stitch that we've just gone into, so we're going to go around this next stitch, the post of the next stitch. So you go behind and come in front. Yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. So we've just gone around this post. We're then going to do a half treble crochet into this next stitch. So the post that we've just gone around, we then go into this next stitch. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. We then want to go around the front post again. So it's not this one just here because that's part of that stitch, it's this next one over. So yarn over, around that post, so front post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then going to go into the next stitch, so we've just gone around this post, we're going to go into this stitch just here. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. So we've just worked into this stitch, we want to go around the post of the next stitch. So it's not this one just here, because that's where our stitch is into. We go around this one just here. So it's yarn over, around that post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So what we're actually doing here is pushing a post forward and pushing a post backwards. Um, one stitch is shorter than the other to make sure that the stitches stay even throughout the round. So you're literally going to do this all the way around. You will have 56 stitches in total for the smaller size and 64 in total for the larger size. So pause the video work your way all the way around and meet me back once you are ready. Remember to go into the correct stitches so please feel free to rewind this video to see where to work into if you need to. So I've just worked my way all the way around and I've just done my 55th stitch so this just leaves me to do my last stitch around the front post of this very first stitch just here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then that finishes me next to the half or the chain two which is classing as the half uh, treble crochet at the beginning of the round. So that is correct for me. So I'm going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that chain two. And then that brings me to round three of the cuff. So for round three I'm going to chain two and that classes as a half treble crochet. Then I'm going to do a front post treble crochet around this uh, next stitch, so yarn over, and this is a little bit easier this time because the stitch is larger. Around the post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then one half double crochet into the half double crochet from the previous round. So yarn over into the top of that stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all the loops on the hook. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. So yarn over around the front post treble crochet from the previous round with a front post treble crochet, and then a half treble into the next stitch. So you're going to have the same amount of stitches in this round as the last one and you'll see that the ridges really start to form. So pause the video, work your way all the way around and meet me back at the beginning of this round. Okay, so I've just been all the way around again. I am just about to do my last front post treble crochet. And then again, I'm going to slip stitch into the very first stitch of the row, or the round. And then I'm going to chain two again and do exactly the same. So we're going to do this all again for row 
four and five, so two more rows. So go ahead and do those next two rounds, which are the same as your last one, and I'll meet you back to show you how to finish off. Okay, so I have just done all of those rounds, and I'm now ready to tie off my yarn. So I've just done my slip stitch, I'm going to yarn over and pull through, snip off my yarn, and then pull that out. And now all that's left to do is to sew in the ends. So I'm going to turn it inside out and then it's a matter of sewing these in. So you want to take your darning needle and you're going to use the rule of three. So you want to weave your needle in to the yarn and pull through and then go back the other way trying to catch different fibres and pull through and then once more back the other way and pull through and what you'll find is when you go three ways like that it just really keeps it in to the work and stops it from coming undone so you want to go ahead and do the same thing with the rest of these um, loose ends. And then there you have your rainbow granny stripes hat. Please don't forget that I'm going to leave all of the details in the description box below. It will take you to my website with all of the um, tools that you need, the link to the free downloadable pattern, and just all the information that you need basically. So that will be in the description box below. But I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye.